Welcome back, my ghouls and ghoulettes, to another episode of Redstone Corner. I am here in a new testing world set up for the brand new snapshot, and I'd like to share something with you today. Um, once I learned about the lectern's ability to give a redstone signal output through a comparator based on the page number of the book and the number of written on pages in said signed book. As you can see over there, I was doing a little testing. Um, I found some things out. Uh, it has to be coming out level with the lectern to give a steady output. Otherwise, if you put lectern on a block and a comparator coming out of it... Um, hold on. See, we'll do it. And you get these quick pulses. That's all you get. I didn't know that. That actually could be really, really useful for some things. Um, but, what I have for you today here is a new concept I worked out. Is a new type of locking piston door. Or lock for a piston door. Locking piston door, whatever you want to call it. Words are hard. I've been at this a bit. <laughs> um, as you see here, we have a 3x3 standard piston door. And then on here, two lecterns covered so snow doesn't get on them. And you... I have books here ready. We'll load them up. And right now I have them set to read the full output of 15 to open just for testing purposes. But then we click on it. And the way I have this set up is each book has to be on the right output. So you can change the... Uh, outputs needed for the comparators easily by like using a chest with filled items but see putting both these on page 20 both these books opens the door come through do your stuff when you leave click take book and it shuts literally you could leave one book in there if you really wanted to so let's uh let's take a look at what i did down here okay so here running out of the back of the lectern Obviously, we have a comparator through a block with a comparator running into the side and a torch for that comparator's reading. So since I'm using a torch and it puts out a full 15, uh, this comparator will only send a signal when it detects a full output. Same on this side. And then I have them both tied into an AND gate. And if you don't know, it's one of the most simple... Uh, logic gates there is <laughs> and then we have you know the redstone torch here an end gate will only give an output if both inputs are on and then it powers this down here which go into these repeaters powering blocks into more dust back into here up this into a repeater that powers this block which will turn off this redstone torch and that redstone dust opening up the door. Actually, really easy, real simple. If you would like a step-by-step -step instruction on this, uh, let me know down in the comments and I'll do a tutorial video on it. Otherwise, I think you guys really can see what it is and, you know, fit it to your liking. Um, I'm going to be working on next a, like, let's see, that's a 3 by 2 Let's do 3 by 3 next. But I'm going to keep playing around in the snapshot, guys, and uh, I'll let you know what goes on, what I come up with. I'm really excited about this, getting to play with all these new blocks and their redstone. So, um, but yeah, like I said, simple circuitry, and you can play around. You can put a chest where that torch is and fill it with different items. So, you know, you can have different page numbers. Different page number gives different outputs. I have 20 pages in this book. Say if we turn it down, clear down to page one, uh, you get no output. Page two, no output. Page three, you get one. Then two, then three on six. It's real weird. I don't understand this one quite yet. Number of pages divided by some certain number is how you get your outputs. But yeah, there's my ice farm in the background. <laughs> uh... Thank you guys for joining me. 
as always, I hope you've enjoyed. And remember, if you want a tutorial on this one, I will gladly do it. Just let me know in the comments. Keep a lookout. There's going to be a lot of new stuff coming out on Redstone Corner with this update. <laughs> Having a good night, guys. Oh, and remember, keep up with everything at Razzle Gaming on Facebook. And I do have a Discord now, Lord Chaotic Wolf. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Because you know you want to. <laughs> I'll see you later, guys.